Welcome to the All About TRH podcast, aka All About the Real Housewives, aka All About the Truth. On this week's episode, we cover the premiere of the Real Housewives of New York reboot, plus hot topics including Potomac and New Jersey. Hi, Chantel. Hey, Roxanne. Happy Monday. I'm like, wait, what day is it? Yeah, Monday. Start I feel, of the week. Oh, gosh. I feel like I've been so distracted. Why? Do you not feel that way with me? I feel like I've been so yeah. distracted. Yep. Yeah, I totally have. And I'm like, you need to like get excited about this. You need to get excited I about know. this. Uh, I was like, she was like, can you hurry up? Because um, we're covering New York on this episode. And um, she called me because we were supposed to do it like an hour and a half ago. And then I was like, do I need to watch the last 20 minutes? And she's like, you need to get your shit together. And I was like, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> But it was because of Jack's birthday. I feel like now I'm not going to be distracted. By the way, you guys, I shared Jack's birthday. And everyone, I swear, I kid you not, we had so many messages about the balloon arch that Chantel didn't do. Why? They really thought that I needed to do a balloon arch? I think think you just do a balloon arch on those. And then the fact that you said it didn't need to happen, I think they were just joking. People were just joking. But I thought it was so funny. Thank God we didn't. It rained all day and it was, I would have. Excuse me. Oh, first off, you guys, Jack's birthday, nightmare, complete shit shit show. show. (laughs) No, I kid you not. I was on 10. Um, And Chantel was like, it's so funny because Chantel always like helps everyone with parties. And she just had told me today, she's like, it's funny, like seeing people like do these parties for them to be in like a bad mood that day. Yeah, because yeah. I get it. Everyone's so high stress, but it's like, yeah. okay, let's let's realize that we need to enjoy ourselves because we just wasted a month planning a week a week before to get ready for everything. And it's like, let's just enjoy the day. And you guys, I don't believe in someone messaged me about this and they were like, oh, this birthday is for you. It's not for the baby. I don't honestly, I mean, like to each their own. I don't believe in first birthdays like that. I've never done it for Charlie or Sloan. I've only had one birthday for my oldest when she turned three. But I did it because this is my first summer baby. And in Michigan, we have the worst weather. If if, Just think about the worst weather, the most bipolar weather. That's what we live in. So I was like, oh, my God, I have a summer baby. Let me do it at our pool club. And so I was excited about that. And you guys, it rained the entire time. And then the Chantel, minute we got home, it oh was my God. sunshine. <laughs> should, did, yeah, like, I don't believe in, like, an eye on me, but I was almost like, is someone, like, wanting negative energy on me? Because, like, Chantal, even when people walked in, she's like, do not say the R word. Like, just do not say the R word. Because people were like, man, it's raining, huh? I mean, all the kids still swam, but it was like, everyone was just like, ooh, this weather, this weather. And so, thank God for my mimosa bar, because that got me through the birthday. Yeah. I will say it did. And my son was smiling the entire time. So the kids have fun and that's the most important. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So I think I'm like done being distracted. So I'm glad that that's over with. Uh, just so you guys know, we are going to be doing an interview with Jacqueline Lorita in the next few weeks. We, I know people are asking about the Siggy part three. So it's so funny because obviously our Siggy interview went viral, which is amazing. So Kim D actually reached out to Siggy and uh, was like, you need to come on our podcast since you went on their podcast. So Siggy is like cordial with Kim D. So she did go on it. And I think it's going to be released. They always like release it months later. So I was like, all right, let's just wait till we do the part three. Apparently they talk about the same stuff in that. But I think what would be interesting with Siggy is stuff that she told us behind the scenes. Like just interesting things about like... um the salary and uh, the vacation, like, I don't know, just like everything, just like behind the scene questions. So we have a lot of behind the scene questions and uh, she will be and back I for think that. She like vibe with us. And I think she like loved it. So, Oh, she absolutely did. Yeah, love it. So she our, really did. Our part three will be amazing. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. And then with the Jacqueline Lorita, the questions that we got, cause we asked you guys for some, Um, I don't want to jinx it, so I'm hoping in the next few weeks we do it, and I think that one's going to be amazing. Yeah, woo child, the questions you guys want us to ask. Oh, my (laughs) gosh. But I feel like Jacqueline is a down-ass bee where she will answer those questions. So um, I'm excited for that. I really can't wait for that. Um, Roxanne, um, you posted something on Instagram today. 
Yeah, you guys, I totally did. Um, so I, don't leave us hanging. Hiya, time. Roxanne, did your kids take their vitamins today? Yeah, Sloan and Charlie were all for it. Jack is still a little too young, but it's the perfect vitamin for kids 20 months and older. I know you guys have heard me talk about my supplements and how I take a lot of different vitamins. My niece will always see me grabbing mine, and she always wanted some, but I never knew if they were safe for kids. But now we have Haya. Haya is perfect for kids and does not have all the junk that most vitamins do. My girls are picky eaters, and I always stress about the fact that they don't eat enough vegetables. And with Haya, these vitamins are packed with 12 organic fruits and vegetables, helping children get essential nutrients. I was also shocked to realize how much sugar vitamins have, that my pediatrician even suggested these as a preferred vitamin because it isn't filled with sugar, and they are free of heavy metals, which is a relief. My niece is also picky, so she didn't want to take them right away. But then we did this activity together. They let you decorate the bottle, and you play, st- you play stickers on them, and it was so much fun. Try Haya now at HayaHealth.com slash TRH and get 50% off your first order. That's $15 for your first bottle to support your kid's immunity and have fun doing it. I know, because I don't want to say too much, though. I know. It's such like a – I don't think you guys understand. It's such like – I don't, the thing is in New Jersey, like I'm telling you, we get so many tips from New Jersey. So I just never want it to be like, oh yeah, she hangs out with this person or whatever. So, but yeah, I did see Teresa today. She was here for her daughter's um, Uh orientation in Michigan, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. She was, yeah, so exactly. So she was here for that and her daughter had like an orientation part today and it was good vibes, y'all. It was good vibes. Um. Yeah. I don't know, Chantal, what you, what we should say about that. It's just a tricky thing. I know you guys are like, some of you guys asked and you guys were like, get her on your podcast right now. Like the housewives are not allowed to really be on podcast talking about the show. So, I mean, not the housewives, just like the housewives of New Jersey. So that's not going to happen right now. I know that Teresa, Melissa, um, For sure, I know Teresa and Melissa got, like, in trouble for talking about the show on their podcast. And then... I mean, Jennifer um, got in trouble for coming on ours. Jennifer got in trouble, yeah, on ours. And and they got fined for it. So that's not going to happen. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say too much because I just feel like there's, like, haters that are going to twist it and say something that's, like, not true. And And it was just, you know, it was just a nice time, and that was really it, so... I like it. Yeah, Chantel did um actually stop by a little bit later too. Yeah, so, I for a little. Yeah. So that was, okay. was uh huh. Yeah. I think Let's that's all we're gonna, gonna to talk about the- there. Are we getting <laughs> what is there anything else that we need to cover that's happened? Um, I mean, like other franchises. Yeah. I mean, did you see the fight that's ha- that happened for Real Houses Potomac? Oh my gosh, like, holy yes. hell. Uh, There's always fighting on this show, so it's just crazy. I know. And then they act like they're so against fighting, too. I so know. it just, it literally doesn't make sense because when that whole Monique and Candace thing happened, they were all like, how dare Monique do that? Even though Candace, like, completely, okay, I don't even want to get into this because some of you guys might disagree with me and I'm scared. So. I don't want to make anyone upset, but yeah, like, yeah. So that does look crazy, but guess what? That looks like something I want to watch. So yeah, same. I'm like, all right. We're down for it. Yeah. I mean, we, we are, we're not though. We haven't been covering Atlanta. I feel like Atlanta is such like a snooze fest right now. The thing is, is like, I didn't watch even the previous season. So unless like you make me watch it, then that's when I'll watch it. You did watch, you watched like the beginning. Yeah, I watched, like, the first five seasons, and then the last, like, seven, no. So then... All I know is with Atlanta, Sonia, she's not doing it for me. So that's all I have to say. Chantal is not even watching. I'm still watching. I do oh, think okay. the... so is it good? No, it's not. Yeah, okay. I do think the Ralph um, and Drew situation with her cheating, that's obviously, like, super interesting. I mean, it's not interesting. I just, like, think he's a piece of crap. So it's, like, of course... I'm not cheating, just, like, they're divorced. So I'm, like, of course, like, they're going to divorce, which... Um, yeah, Sofia Vergara is getting a divorce. Isn't that crazy? Okay, that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> and so is Ariana awesome. Grande. No, I know. Like, I'm sorry. What is just celebrities don't get married? <laughs> it's honestly just don't. Like, I don't know. I feel like because they have so much money, they're like, we don't need this because I have like my own. Mo- I don't know. It's very weird. Anywho, sorry, no, guys. They really need to stop like 
think about yeah just don't get married about it mm-hmm. uh-huh. I don't understand like it's it's fun and exciting for like one day for them but um what, okay so what do we think about New York like what's just like your opinion so I feel like it is definitely fresh and, and feels good like if I was watching this as a standalone or a new series I'd be excited but like to me it's like why would they still call it Roni and if it's like this I know it's it's a reboot it's a whole new cast but just to me it's like it takes a lot for people to get invested in a whole new cast in a whole new season. I love it. Is that oh, weird? You did? Yeah, I really do. I really do. And you know, um, I think people are scared because I think what this does, I don't know about the ratings yet. I don't know what the, what the ratings are, but I think what happens is that if this becomes successful and Andy actually responded to someone, someone had a, a wrote or someone had commented on Andy's photos and said, now that the Real House of New York has had such positive feedback, are you thinking about rebooting other franchises? And then he put like, um, you know, like a shady face. So shady um. emoji. And I do think this is like kind of the test of it because there's only so much you could walk, watch with someone for like 10 years. And especially when it becomes like a shit show and it, it just isn't good or things don't add up or vi- I don't know. So the one thing I will say that I kind of like is everyone is on the same playing field since it's season one, everyone is new and then like no one's bigger than the other one just yet, you know? So like, yeah. there's not like a main girl or a girl that's like killing it, like the Bethany's or the, who you know the Teresa's all of them so yeah that will develop I'm sure I, know was, I love what we love watching that I also love yeah. watching that so it is exciting for that to see what's going to happen and like how the girls get jealous and all of that fun stuff I actually like the group of girls I think overall like I like all of them I feel like Julie it's funny because they have Julie in all the photos as like the main housewife and I feel like she's kind of like the odd man out in the Wait, sense who's where Julie oh my gosh Chantel. I know, like, honestly, though, like, if, when it's a first episode, I'm going to need no, Bravo. are you saying the right names? Sweetie, I'm totally saying the right name. Who was Julie? I have a Bryn, Jenna, Jessel, Sa, Uba, Aaron. Who is Julie? Oh, why don't you Google who Julie is? Okay, let me look. Are you joking? I can't. Can you send me a picture? Because if I Google, I'll kick us oh, out of this okay. recording. Okay, Julie is the one who's the party's house was at, like, um, at the end of the episode. That was Jenna. Is it Jenna? <laughs> That her name was Jenna. Wait, really? Yes. <laughs> okay, I've been putting Julie. So let me just make okay. sure. That's Jenna. She's a boss bitch. She's. Oh you know, yeah, you're right. Let's, okay, let's be Julie. honest. You know. Yeah, she she's a little cuckoo. Oh my gosh, she really is 55 years old. My God, she, she looks, looks amazing. amazing. Yep. And her wow. Is like, I I really like her. Really? Okay. Wow. That's interesting. Cause I was like, she seems like the odd man out. Like she seems like the one where if they're like fighting, she's like, I'm over this. Let's stop. And um, I'm like, no, she I want a little want... nuts though, which I kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess to be continued, I cannot believe that she's 55 though. Like she looks better than me and that's like, what the <laughs> fuck? Okay. So wow. Okay. She looks amazing. And I'm sorry that I got the name wrong. So, you um, scared me. I know. <laughs> I mean, okay, but Bravo, like when it's a first episode, please like put the names under every single time. Like I am trying to keep up and I need the names for everyone, even I though I like should know these told names. Us, um, where like they live because that's such a New York thing, like Brooklyn, Tribeca, Upper East Side. You know, I love that they did that. It kind of goes with the vibe of each person. You don't know anything about locations, so maybe you don't get it, but. Right. Like I don't even know where anything, like I don't even know. <laughs> yeah here so and i've lived here my whole life so yeah well um so i mean let, let's kind of start off with it or do you want to like describe what you feel about each housewife or yeah i feel like that'd be good okay i have to say uba is drop dead gorgeous that's chanel's cousin wait is it really because yeah. i didn't want to say this to be insulting but i was like she reminds me of like chanel yeah i i said she reminds me of chanel too so i was like let me google like maybe they came from the same country i was wondering same, you know? about that and then it said chanel's cousin like people magazine had like a article that chanel gave her some advice just saying don't go under the belt and i was like that makes so much sense that they're cousins Oh my God. Wow. That is so weird. And they like look like each other and talk like each other. They sound, they sound exactly the same. So I was like, okay, so is this, that's why I thought maybe they came from the same like, like country or something. And then I Googled and I was like, oh wow, thank God. I was like on point with it. 
Yeah, I know. I feel like people are going to yell at us about this podcast because we're like, we're so like amateur about it. But um, what do you mean? She seemed funny, but what? I said she seems semi funny, but like her personality is not there yet. Like she hasn't fully came out. Did they not show us like if she's married or did I miss that? No, she didn't show us anything about her yet. Yeah, her or Bryn, which is weird. Yeah, but Bryn definitely seems like she's just like this flirty girl and single and ready to have fun. I feel like Bryn is going to be that one who's like, I'm so excited to be on the Real Housewives, and she's just going to be too much. And you know what it's going to be a lot. Me of? It's going to be a lot for me. We'll see. You know what she reminds me of? Who? Stassi. Like, I feel like she belongs in, like, Vanderpump Rules. Yeah. Like, I wonder if, again, again, I should know more about this, but... Yeah, I wonder if she's like married or has kids or oh wait no she doesn't because when she walked into, I think it was like she definitely doesn't have kids. Yeah, she walked into someone's house and she's like, I see. I thought that was funny when she was like, I mean, she lives the life I want. She lives and I like respect that that she's not a hater, and she's like, oh, I love her life. You know, she's married, has kids, like whatever. So yeah, okay, never mind. But I can just see her being super thirsty for the show. But maybe I'm being judgmental. She's really pretty too, by the way. I think her she's hair really pretty. It's just crazy out of this world yeah i didn't catch that but like i just think that i was like wow she's like a really pretty girl so um well it's funny because oh wait we're still describing the housewives okay um what about Tessa? Like, no i was gonna say erin i like erin a lot yeah she seems very real tells you how it is she's she's your typical like jew new yorker sorry i <laughs> <laughs> i know we're so scared <laughs> i think she's i think she's like funny and she's sensitive but i can tell like obviously we could see that she's so close with her family like even when her dad saw her the way he hugged her it was so cute and you guys know i love seeing kids so like she has like three small kids and then like there was a scene where her son comes in and he needs to poop and it's just like it's relatable i'm like yeah like i've had those moments I don't know. She's like a young Jill, Jillian, Jill, whatever her name is from New York. Back Jill Zarin. Jill Zarin. She's like a young Jill Zarin. Okay. Can someone respond to this? Because I don't, I don't know where you got that affiliation. No, I swear she is. Or like what? There's nothing about her that reminds me of Jill. No, it is. I swear. <laughs> and like Jill had like one kid and like, no, no. Um, I don't see that. But I think I'm going to like um Erin a lot. What do we think about Sai? Um, her husband's hot. He's the one who's like the stay yeah. home dad. I was dying that she like told someone to take off her shoes. That's all like I I know about her that she's like take those damn shoes off when they entered her oh home. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's yeah, that's all of us. Like yeah, please take your shoes off. I like get mad at my like dad when he keeps it on, and I don't know why they get offended. I I don't understand why you're. I don't understand people who are offended when you tell them to take their shoes off. I know it's a thing that you should definitely do. So like yeah, just do it. I have small kids who are, like, crawling and, like, eating the floor. Please take off your or shoes. Or I think it's nice to ask. Like, do you want me to take off my shoes? And if you say, yeah, then, yeah, take them off. Yeah. Out. And honestly, if it's, like, random people who don't show up at my, like, come to my house very often, like, I will never do that. But, like, let's say it's, like, my parents. I'm, like, you guys, take your shoes off. Like, why are we walking with that? Or even my niece and nephew. I'm, like, you guys, take your shoes off. So, <laughs> they're, like, you're so annoying. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's, like, everyone should do that no matter what. I will say Sai, um, Sai, Sai, or Sai, I forgot. Sai, Sai. Sai. She, like, she, in the show, she talks about, she's like, or someone says, like, yeah, um, I always buy everything she says because she's like an influencer. And I did look her up. She has over 400,000 followers, which, like, the rest of them have, like, 20K. I know. I saw that. I just, like, followed so, like, she them definitely yeah. was, yeah, she definitely has her little business. Good for her. I mean, yeah, influencers going. make money. So, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, Jesse, to me, is funny. Jessel. Is that her name, Jessel? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Jessel's Jessel. funny. Okay, let me just change this. Yeah, Jessel's funny. I think her relationship with her husband is funny because, like, she gets annoyed of him. I think that's just, like, She's real. She's so mean to him, but it is real. No, it is real, but she was like, can you not, like, be here while I do this? <laughs> right now, like, my husband's in the kitchen, and I was like, and I'm in the library room, and I was like, hey, I'm doing a podcast, and he's like, hey, I don't care, and I'm like, uh okay and he's like still in the <laughs> kitchen and i'm like that's like relatable <laughs> i'm like okay she seems um, like she's a good friend yeah um i agree i think so too uh is there anyone else that no that was mention? it i don't know i have like high hopes for this i i think i liked all of them i just thought like i don't know i feel like julia i don't vibe with very much but i guess we'll see it's, it's, it's jenna Oh, Jenna. Oh, God. <laughs> Jenna. 
Jen, I don't vibe with, but we'll see. Jenna seems like random. Like, are, were any of them friends with her beforehand? Like, I just like want them all to be friends before, so it's real. One thing that I will question, since what Siggy told us is like, do any? How do they really know each other? Because like, you know, how I you know. Just, like, fake it. So yeah, I know. But like, I mean listen beverly hills didn't it start with like all of them being friends like new jersey started with all of them being friends so except like with the exception of danielle so i don't know yeah i think that some of them are friends because it sounds like they were hanging out before the cameras were rolling and i don't know like i've tried watching the real house of new york and i know you guys are like everyone's obsessed with it and i just like could never get into it and i feel like i'm getting into this you're crazy. Roni was amazing. I know. I don't know why. I don't know why I cannot get into it. It's so weird. I think I just like seeing families. I don't know. I'm like more into watching that. I think Bryn and Aaron are going to be like the Sonia and Ramona of this one. Bryn and Aaron. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I don't see that. I don't see them being a pair. I see them butting heads quite a bit. Okay. I feel like they're the ones that like, ha like they're, they have fun with each other. They get mad at each other. Well, let's talk about this. So, because I'm so curious about what people's opinion is on this. So, Aaron um, goes to a restaurant or, you know, because, you know, when you have, like, a large party, it's very hard for a restaurant, and I'm especially probably in New York, to, like, put them all together. So, Aaron chooses a restaurant that apparently is not trendy but was trendy years ago. And Bryn said that she wouldn't be caught dead there. So, she and Cy go somewhere else. I don't have a problem with them not going. For me, it's more of like going somewhere else and taking photos to share on social media on purpose, knowing like Aaron's going to see that and that's probably going to upset her because like she seems sensitive, but I also feel like I would be upset about that too. And then the way she's like, I don't want to go to that place. It's like, what? No, Unless I'd it's be... like in a bad area or location. No, I'd be really pissed because just go and stop making shit complicated and just go with the flow. Like she made these plans and just, go go there yeah. like why are you, i would be i'd be really or if, if you want to leave and like do something else don't post photos because you know that she's going to be like wait why did they do that why did it, what was the problem so it's like them trying to start something i don't know i thought that whole thing was weird and i thought like who cares if it's not trendy anymore like see that's how and you what know burns this, like and what was this place that they had to keep beeping out well of course they're gonna beep that out that's like uh, are you kidding me they'd get sued just like talking uh, about that <laughs> but obviously yeah it's like a whatever i'm sure one day we'll like hear them talk about it but i just thought like that's like to me like a very immature way of thinking and that's where i'm like yeah Bryn is like how old is Bryn, by the way I know. Please Google. Yeah, Bryn. Because, like, I just thought it was so stupid of her to, like, act like that about a restaurant. And then it's, it, oh, she's 36, so she's young. So, um, yeah, like, who who was Bryn talking, or was it Sai that went with her? Yep, Sai went with her, and then she started talking to, um, talk, telling Sai and Jessel about this, like, cheese gate that happened. And I was like, this is very mean, gr mean girl, the way she was describing it. Yeah, it sound um of of Aaron. It was a mean girl thing. It sounded of mean girl like Bryn explaining it, like the way she was yeah. her voice, and it's just like, oh my god, that's what I'm saying. Like it just seemed like Bryn was like Bryn's like, all right, like I'm so excited about being on the show. Time to stir the shit, <laughs> like stir the yeah. pot. Let me do this, and let it me is make good this for a the thing. drama. I mean, cheese gate. I guess it's it's pretty like ridiculous, something to fight about. But I don't know. I would be more. I would be more upset about just like the whole situation of them going and then posting about it. It's like, you're like taunting me. I agree. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. Like, uh, so we go to Julie's party. I'm already going to skip to Julie's party. Is that like far? Wow. I don't know. Oh, Jenna is Jenna's. Is it Jenna? It's Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, cause I haven't changed my notes. I keep saying I changed one of it. Like I wrote Jenna, I said she's 54. She looks so young. Uh, but I changed that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. So, um, all right. At Jenna's party. So for me, I respect that Aaron didn't say anything right away and then brought up like Cheesegate afterwards when, you know, Julie, like, I, and I know when Julie was over it, like, I also respect the fact that Aaron's like, okay, but I'm not done with this. So let's go talk just you and I. And I thought that was great. Like, she didn't, like, immediately, like, say, I'm going to stir the pot. Like, she, they sat there. They were playing games. She drank a little bit. Like, she wasn't – she doesn't seem like a drama person or I'm going to, like, here's my moment. Like, let me do it now. It all came very naturally, which we know what happens behind the scenes. So, like, I appreciated that. Yeah, me too. 
Yeah. I thought so... that it was funny that when she, to me, like I wrote down, it was funny that she walked in and she had nothing. It, this is her first time coming to her home. Oh my God, you guys, said, I'm sorry. I was so embarrassed. That's, I was so embarrassed it. for her. No, but still. And then the next I, I was person, embarrassed. Shai, walks in with like, it was something. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So, Aaron, like to me, that's a no no. When you go to someone's house, like when we, remember Chanel, we went to Jennifer Aiden's house and uh, we went, we like to went to like, New York, like, Street, New York City, like got some, got a cake and like a really good cake at a like you know famous place i don't i don't know what it was but we got a cake and we walked into her house with it like are you kidding i'm sorry that's a no-no when you are going to someone's house it's just like the respectful thing to do to bring something and i mean yeah she explained it like she said it was raining and i was like girl like go get a wine from your house i'm sure you have tons of wine you were drinking wine earlier grab a wine that's not open and then just take it to her house at that point, when you have so many like um, friends, or you're gonna be on the show and go to these parties, like you have things reserved for those for those moments. Yeah, that was kind of like I was like, Aaron, I like you so far, but no, uh, Mama, that was not like a good um, <laughs> guest <laughs> thing. I don't even know, but yeah, and then it's so funny because then you see Sai like walk in and she's like, "Here you go," and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> how embarrassing." Um, yeah, so what do we think about, like, the questions? Like, she wanted to do, like, sex questions, and I, I don't know why. to get to know really? people. Really? I feel like that's so cheesy. Really? I think you just don't like talking about it, so you don't like that. But I think it's fun just to break the ice and, like, start talking. And Yeah, I mean, it's, like, funny. It's just, like, it's cheesy because I feel like half the time, like, people make up, like, stories and try to, like, outdo each other with it and it's like oh my gosh cringe so <laughs> i don't know maybe it's just me you guys i don't know i would have liked to hear like more like other questions that describe them a little bit that's not especially because i don't like even know their situation yet and who they're with yeah i agree yeah so like, uh, you don't know their husbands yet to like to, yeah exactly uh-huh so then um so the, so we get, so Brynn in her confessionals like she's like I am like so scared it's this is going to be like the death of me like she's too much she's too much Yeah mm-hmm. I don't know like it, it's all too much and it's like she, you're making the, you're the one making this a thing not even Aaron like you acting like this like Aaron's about to kill you It's interesting cuz Aaron was like I actually like hanging out with Brynn she's fun but then she stirs a shit and I feel like yeah I, like there's so many people in like not so many people, but like there's people in my life that I'm like, yeah, like I feel that way. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I hate people like that. Where it's like you're, so, it's so fun with them, but then it's like they bring bad energy. For yeah, other things like and it's not exactly. Okay. I hate that. Yeah. So, um, it, yeah, it gets brought up, and like I just, I don't know. I felt like Aaron did it in such a mature, natural way, like I was saying. And uh, yeah, Julia or Jenna was. Jenna. <laughs> Jenna was just like over the conversation and I'm like, Jenna, relax. Like, I want to watch this play out. That's the whole point of the show. Like, let me watch it play out. Like, I know this is like a stupid storyline so far. And Cy didn't even care. Like, she was like, I don't even really care. I mean, but the fact that they have to be, they have to be fighting about cheese, like does scare me for the season. So like, let's just see what happens. I mean, but it was Brynn. Like Brynn literally made it up. I don't I know, believe but... Aaron said that. <laughs> I don't. So, and then they go like back in the back room to talk about it. And Bryn was, see, and then I hate people like Bryn. Okay. Cause Bryn's like, dude, we're good. And Aaron's like, yeah, that's fine. But I'm not good with what you did. And I don't want you to do it again. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. She was so like nonchalant about it. Yeah. Like, of course you're saying that you're good because you're the one who just did this. You're the one who said this. You're the one who's like trying to cause like something with me inside. So of course you're like, oh, we're good. And it's like, no, like don't start this, you know? Don't start none. There won't be none. Where's that from? Where's that from? I don't know. Oh, my God. Don't start none. There won't be none. I don't know. It's from a show, you guys. Is it from The Real Housewives? Jesus, I don't know. No. But, yeah, I don't know. And so I can see Bryn just doing stuff for drama. And I'm the type of person who wants to, like, talk it out and not drag it. And I can see Bryn, like, if if Aaron didn't just, like, shut it up, you know, whatever. I mean, you like, can't just drop lie. It. Like, flat out lie. So that's really scary. And Aaron was like, I didn't say it. And she wasn't getting defensive. She's just like, I didn't, I didn't say it. So, yeah, I don't know. But they end up, like, wearing Jenna's clothes, which I would be like, don't ever touch my clothes ever again. Especially she's like, that's Valentino. I would, I would be pissed. Yeah. Um, I'm dying also that they, like, the theme was khaki and no one followed that. Honestly, though, that would piss me off. Well, she said khaki, black, and metallic. So Oh, she said options. black? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I would have worn black, too. I wear black all the time. So, yeah. Never mind. Disregard, guys. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know, Chantal. Was there anything else of this? No, I mean, I was going to, like 
kill them every time they said the word chic. They're like, that's so chic. You're so chic. Oh my God, that's chic. I'm like, okay, guys, we get it. Yeah. Ew, You're like, in New York. New right, York exactly. Yeah, so stupid. It's so interesting seeing like that families are raised that way though in cities like that. It's a lot. I don't know. I know. I mean, it was funny. Erin did make it seem like she had like 35,000 kids and when she only has three. Cause she's like, oh my God, what was up with that though? Yeah, she was like, yeah, well, or else we wouldn't say. have that many kids. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, really, oh three. <laughs> I mean, three's a lot like this day and age, but it's like really not. And so I was like, and it's not like they're like all one year apart where it's like, oh my gosh, this girl has three, you know? Like it was just, I was like, wait, this is like completely normal. So I didn't get that. But maybe because like in New York City, it's not normal. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. And it seems like her husband wants to kill himself. So there's that. <laughs> like, he, he seemed really over it. He was like, he kept having to, like, go check on his kids and stuff. But I don't know. Give me, like, what a show if... about Aaron's family. I'm I'm down to watch. I'm down to yeah, watch. Yeah, no, me too. With her brothers and her sister and her mom and dad. They seem like good people. So I'm team Aaron so far, you guys. Wow, oh, okay. I'm just curious to see if, if what the ratings are going to bring in and what people are going to say about this. Um, well, if it's consistent, reboot. because you have the Real Housewives of Orange County and their ratings were so good because I told you guys the tactic that they use. They did it right after Vanderpump Rules and the ratings were so good. And then it's like going down and down and down. It's not terrible, though. I mean, Atlanta is kind of terrible, but this is not terrible. I'm looking at pictures of Bryn right now because I Googled her age and she's just like really pretty, actually. Do you notice her hair now? Yeah, but what about it? Is it, like, really thick? It's just beautiful. Yeah, she has, like, very, like, old school hair. Yeah, it's, like, like glamour. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, she does that look a lot. Yeah, it's really nice. She's really freaking pretty. Wow. Okay. Yeah, her and um, Uba, pretty. So, yeah, I mean, I'm excited. Let's all give it a chance, guys, because I know some of you guys were like, eh. But yeah, every like when... first episode sucks. Every first episode. When you posted on All About TRH, people were commenting, like, not watching, not watching. I'm like, dang, just give it a chance, guys. I know. Like, yeah. And, like, I mean, the ratings sucked for the Real House of New York the last two seasons. So, whatever. It is what it is. I mean, I don't know. I thought it was good. I thought it was refreshing. Maybe because I wasn't, like, so into the other one. So. Have you still been watching Crappy Lake? Have you watched the newest episodes? Oh, no, I haven't. Okay. I haven't watched it all, but I want to. So, maybe we'll, we'll tag team them, these two, together. Yeah, with Orange County and, like, with other hot topics that happened this week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wait, did you uh, read about Dolores? How she lost 20 pounds? Yeah, like, she lost 20 pounds on Ozempic. Um, I feel like I don't believe what her real weight was. Really? Yeah. But she also doesn't lie ever, so maybe I do believe it. I just am shocked by that. She said she was 50, 157, and now she's 137. I feel like it's like she was like 140 now, like 120. When we saw her in person, you guys, she was so little. So little. So I don't get it. Teresa's everyone... so little too. Oh my God. And I know everyone carries yeah. their weight differently. So I get that, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't either. I feel like she's definitely way skinnier than she's saying. But you know what? People have like a lot of muscle. And she definitely does. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, like my weight is skinny, but I have – it's because I have no muscle in my body. Yeah. So, that's literally why. But, yeah. So, she she said that she's 20 pounds down in that – um, she did say that she stopped taking Ozempic because it was, like, expensive. Um, but that she is – she went to, like, the, the other brand. Manjaro? I don't know. Yeah. Now every time I see someone who just like dramatically loses weight, I'm always like, I always touch on them together on Ozempic. I know, but that's so bad. As for like for us to think that, we shouldn't think that. But if someone's like always carried a certain amount of weight forever, and then all of a sudden, like during this trend, shows up super skinny, you're kind of like, yeah, you're sus a little bit, but you're also just like, it's none of our business, I guess. Chantel, you're unless just trying to get brownie housewife. points from our audience, <laughs> so just stop. No, unless it's like about them, like like real people, it's a like, crazy whatever I like mean, for I, that person that really worked hard yeah i know kyle. <laughs> i know oh my gosh i know i i know people still like say that kyle whatever but i'm just like uh i don't know but yeah i, I think that's pretty much all for today you guys i don't know like there we, we have to like wait and see i agree and let us know if you're gonna watch because if you guys get excited about it we'll get excited about it 
Yeah, exactly. Let us know. Um, and uh, oh, wait, Frank Catania also, he did an interview with, uh, sorry, Chanel, you don't even know this, but he did an interview with Melissa Gorga's ex boyfriend, Bulldog. Um, not him, but his friend is like, his friend does something, and Bulldog was there. And uh, uh, everyone's like, oh my gosh, you guys need to have Bulldog. Bulldog is married. Why is his name Bulldog, dude? Oh yeah, my gosh. What, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, Bulldog is married, but obviously it's very interesting for Bulldog to be around Frank Catania when Joe Gorga w- is probably killing himself. And also, Bulldog is um, like, he had a lot of bad shit to say about Melissa. Um, when he wasn't married, he did talk to us. Should we do, Chanel, I feel like we keep saying this, but we should do yeah, no, we um, really should. an episode of just, like, our old interviews with, like, Jan and Bulldog and stuff. Yeah, I'm so down. Yeah, we need to do that. We should do, like, a bone. We'll do one this week of that. Uh, so, yeah. But that's really um, all that we have going on, you guys. So I um, hope you have a great week. We'll be back later this week. Do you have anything OC. else, Chantal? Yep. No. All right, then. Well, bye, guys. Bye, guys.